What's up everybody? Blue Gabe, fresh organic shrimp. Kelly and I just got home from Mims, Florida, which is about straight east of Orlando, right on the coast. We stayed at this awesome little Airbnb, and I'm gonna show you a second of that now. It was right on the water, about 300 yards from where we went shrimping. It has a beautiful little cover over the little dock slip that you get, and if you guys, you know, it's not very big for a huge family, but you could obviously rent too if you wanted to do that, but if you're a husband and a wife or boyfriend and a girlfriend and want to just get away, Mims, Florida. And trust me, when I get done showing you how we shrimped in this video, anybody can do it in a canoe, whatever you want to do. I'm going to go over all that in a minute, but let's get to cooking. I know I'm going to go out of order, but I'm going to show you how we caught these shrimp. I'm going to show you footage of these actual shrimp getting caught. Don't worry. Just take one. Now, these are harder to peel and devein than farm-raised shrimp that you would buy from the store. Take this little fork right here. Just like so. Now what I did was just deveined it and peeled it. So we're gonna turn this one cleaned shrimp into a dozen cleaned shrimp, right? Yeah, just like that. Here's what we're gonna do tonight. So the boys are at their mom's house. I wanted to cook a nice romantic dinner for Kelly. Got her some wine. I had no idea there were some people walking by. I asked them, they said that's a good brand, so don't judge. I'm gonna make her favorite dessert. Apparently I got the wrong Cool Whip, but I did get the right strawberries. I got an awesome salad, and we're gonna eat out on our brand new refurbished patio. Thanks to yours truly behind the camera. She did an amazing job, and she made a video of it. If you are thinking about remodeling, you know, your back patio, check out Kelly's latest video. And you can order everything that she did off of her Amazon store linked to her YouTube channel. Sweet peppers, shrimp. Some are bigger than others, so if you have some big shrimp, sort of put the big shrimp on the big shrimp skewer and the small ones on the small one. Mushroom, sweet pepper. If you're a younger male watching this, anywhere from hopefully 16, 17 and up. You shouldn't be chasing girls if you're younger than that. Pay attention. This might not be the most exciting part of the video, but trust me, if you're interested in females, this is the way to their heart. Food. There's not a girl on the planet that doesn't love food. So just take notes. I mean, look at me. I'm not the most romantic, beautiful looking female, male, <laughs> male, no. male, and I got the most beautiful female ever. So all we're doing is shrimp, sweet peppers, and onions. I'm gonna finish doing these last two and I'll show you all the next step. Don't go anywhere, because the best part of this video is yet to come. I wonder how many women out there right now were just elbowing their boyfriend or husband saying, can you get up and cook something like this? Hey man, I don't mean to throw y'all under the bus. I'm just saying facts are facts. Women love food. A Little bit of light garlic salt and a little bit of Old Bay, just to spice it up, just a little bit. Old Bay's like literally my favorite seafood seasoning. Even though can cooker Creole's really good too, I won't take away from that. Let's go put it on the grill. I would show y'all, don't turn the camera. You gotta wait till we're eating to see the makeover. If you've already watched her video, thanks for checking that out. She did an amazing job and I didn't help her do any of it. That was all on her own. I wasn't sitting on the couch, so if you know what I mean. I got comments saying, Blue Gabe, get his butt up. <laughs> Alright, I got the grill at 350 degrees. It'll probably take, I don't know, 10 minutes. Now back here in the back right hand corner, for some reason on this grill, is the hot spot. I really want to char that pineapple, so I put it back there. Who's ready to go catch some shrimp? But first, we're also going to fish gig for a second because Kelly doubted me with my gig. I'm going to show you that real quick. Look at her, she's behind the camera like, I doubted you. What did you gig? Let's just show them real quick. <laughs> I'm gonna show you all the footage of gigging and then we're gonna go straight to shrimping. Now, granted, it was 50 degrees, freezing cold, mm -hmm. soaking wet, the cameras weren't working because all the humidity had water all over everything, but I do have footage. And when you get done watching that, you're gonna be like, wait, 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 what? I will then explain exactly how the dip nets work. I'll show you my new lights that we got and I'll explain it then you can go back and watch it again because trust me shrimping is the cheapest funnest thing you can do 
period when it comes to fishing. I mean, other than fuel and gas and the cost of the room, shrimping's cheap and so fun and they are so good to eat. Let's go. All right, well, it didn't take too long and we've already found one. Get him in the What just happened? <gasps> no. What just happened? I think he got away. How? Well, my guess is you didn't hit him. <laughs> I mean, I... When's the last time you found her gig? Oh, <laughs> I watched it hit him. Maybe that muck is just so mucky. Oh, oh I say. you did. What the? I was going to say. <laughs> That's interesting. I stoned him. Huh. So he kicked up. You stoned him. He kicked up and then. Now, he's not the biggest in the world. But guess what? Fried hole. He don't have to be the biggest. He's definitely a keeper. He's only got to be 12 inches. And he is 13 and a half. Well, you said you wanted one hole and stuffed. Ask and you shall receive. You see how muddy it is? Insanely muddy. Oh boy. Let's see. <laughs> I do not want to get my sleeve. It's actually pretty cold out here tonight. Oh. Look at that. That worked perfectly. He just went right into the net. I just had to stick the old arm down there. Blue game style. Look at this big thing. Now we got flounder, a little skate, and one stone crab. Look at that. Have you ever seen anything more prehistoric looking than that? If you have a bug phobia, like a spider phobia, that'll do it for you. All right, we're going to get him back in the water. You want to explain how our gigging night's going? <laughs> Not very good. <laughs> Watch him, he'll land on his back and flip right over. See how quick he flipped over? Oh yeah. He looks like, he reminds me of one of them things that vacuums your floor. Uh, Roomba? Roomba? <laughs> Roomba. I mean, they're technically like that for the ocean floor. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Take whoa. your time. That was done. That was the biggest one yet. We got enough for a good shrimp dinner now. Yeah, we probably have like 30, at least 35. Yeah, but we need some big ones tomorrow to catch redfish on. Uh, I'm going to catch a giant redfish on that one. Oh, right here. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Miss them. They're starting to come in now, a little more. It's like they're running in spurts. That was Look like... at this one. Perfect. That was like six within a minute. We started out way down there and there was two boats playing music, so we had to leave because you can't have music in the video. Then we come down here, put the anchor out like a I don't know, 
really technically a $300 anchor. I took this rope out of the package today. It came out of the package dry rotted and I lost that brand new anchor. So now we're tied up to a pole, which is technically illegal. But every boat that away is tied up to a pole too. So I'm pleading a fifth if I get stopped. The tide's cranking now. We're probably two hours into the tide and they are slowly starting to run. So Jake, my 10 year old and my dad, this is like their favorite thing in the world to do. And both of them are probably gonna be mad when they find out we're here doing it. Trust me when I say y'all are like 50 degrees ain't cold. You'd have froze. I had my frog dog rain gear on, sweatpants underneath that, board shorts underneath that, two shirts and was still cold and Kelly was frozen. I will get back to that in a minute. First, I wanna show you guys how to make a insanely good, easy salad. And I know for those of y'all that do cook a lot, you're probably like, why are you getting so basic on it? Well, I get, I read all my comments and so does Kelly. And I look at comments and try to learn what you guys want. And a ton of people ask, well, how did you learn how to cook so well? Or how did you know how to make that? Literally, I'm like a hound dog. When I go through the grocery store, I'm like, that'll be good. This salad, nothing easier. You don't need to get fancy. I've got my little, I don't know, five inch Danko knife right here. You don't need a peeler. You can do it just like this. This knife has never been sharpened and I'm embarrassed to tell you guys all of what I've used it for. <laughs> I have washed it though. It's cut some nasty things in its day. And here it is in my five star kitchen. All right, so let's go. Just a regular two part party mix, spinach, beautiful, awesome little salad mix from Publix. Take some tomatoes, just like so. Some blueberries. You don't have to add any of this if you don't want it. Some cucumbers. Walnuts. A lot of people are allergic to nuts though. So be careful, if you're cooking for friends, make sure you ask them about that. And some cranberries. Let's get to cooking the vegetables. Olive oil, a little bit more. Kelly taught me what you're about to watch and I'm like so addicted to it, it's insane. So I forgot to add the avocado to the salad. All I did was take my knife, just like that. Take your spoon, dump it out. I assure you, if you're a young man or a grown man, either you're married or on a date, you make that salad and this meal I'm making right now, she'll probably be wanting to marry you. That or she just doesn't like food. I melted a quarter stick of butter, added about a half a tablespoon of lemon, a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of Old Bay. Spread that around. Shrimp, when you grill them, tend to get dry and so do the mushrooms. So I just like to add a little bit of butter and I want to do it halfway through, not at the beginning. this pineapple oh yeah that's what I'm talking about everybody said a pellet grill can't leave grill marks y'all seen it here first all right the broccoli's been cooking for about five you know what I'm I just had a... so we're going to Venice Louisiana in a couple days and my favorite TikToker in the whole wide world is coming with us and I just caught myself talking about him I can't even give you any more details than that because I don't want to give it away. I want when you see him there with me, you'd be like, I know that dude, I've seen him on TikTok. I got a little bit of left. Now all I want to do is talk like him. <laughs> I just used that last little bit of butter. People overcook asparagus like crazy. Add just a little bit more olive oil. Bring it back up to high heat. All you're wanting to do with this asparagus is just get it hot, really. Put a crunch on it. Put a crunch on it. Put a crunch. See, there you go again. It's going to give it away if I keep talking like that. A little bit of sea salt. Mm. If I only had a cracker dough, dude. All right, come here. 
I'm gonna show y'all a little tip because I didn't want to put all of it in the salad. Sea salt, pepper, lemon. You can go ahead and thank me later. Mm -hmm. We'll be at the table soon and then I'm gonna explain the whole shrimping technique because I want to see some of y'all out there in April. April they're gonna start running even harder. I definitely want to see some of y'all there because I'll be there with my mom, my dad, hopefully Aubrey, Robert, my kids. Right now though, I'm gonna set the table. Let's try these shrimp. Look at that. Mmm, perfection. Mmm, delicious, as Luke would say. Mmm. <laughs> You cook food like this, you can leave your laundry anywhere laying around the house you want. You won't get yelled at. <laughs> Only sometimes. You can forget and leave the toilet seat up. As long as you cook food that's equal or better than this. We're gonna sit here and eat this amazing meal. Then I'm gonna get up and go out to the boat and I'm gonna bring the shrimp nuts in here. I'm gonna get my lights, show y'all more footage of shrimping, maybe even more of gigging. We saw porpoise today eating mullet that were they were getting with it son, getting mm. jiggy with it there's we, a lot of porpoise action we probably traveled last night on my trolling motor i would say seven eight miles and didn't even see a fish worth gigging but we had a blast we stopped at a local restaurant there in new Smyrna, got some appetizers that were not really good and i'm not going to disclose the name of the restaurant because the yeah. waitress was really nice to us and patient this is like the perfect meal because you have your protein veggies a little bit of sweetness in the pineapple. So good. Oh my goodness. Let me introduce to you guys who haven't met him. This is Redneck. Y'all heard me talk about him at dinner time. That's him. My five-year-old named him. Actually, my 10-year-old named him when he was five. There's no meaning to the name. He just called him Redneck. So now let's get to shrimping. The biggest thing first. A hoop net. More like a pursane net. See that big thing? That's how we catch them. You can try to do it with a different like color mesh or like a different style net. You're just not going to catch them. There's a reason behind this. When you scoop the shrimp, he comes all the way down here to the bottom and he can't get out. You need this big, huge area because trust me, Kelly will tell you when you try to scoop one, they will get up out of there in a heartbeat. So the hoop net, everything I'm about to show you, if you go underneath this video in the description below, I'll show you where to get it. I don't have any affiliation with the hoop nets, but I do know some women that make them and they're handmade and they're awesome. Now to these lights, I had this company reach out to me. They sent me some and they said, try them. They work flawlessly. Here's why the lights are so important. And I cannot show you this at night while we're doing it because you just can't get it adjust. So shrimp run in MIMS on outgoing tide, meaning the tide's going out. You position the boat with an anchor as red. Look, just... I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> Can you please quit while we're filming? Back to my story. So in MIMS, we like to anchor up with two anchors, one out the back and one out the front, so we're positioned sideways. That's not how Kelly and I did it the other night because we didn't really need to. So I have a three pound weight tied to the bottom of it and it's hooked to a 20 foot cord. That, the reason it's so long is you want the light to be out in front of you. So you imagine you're a shrimp, nah, 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 nah. you're down like four or five foot, maybe on the bottom. Oh, what's that light? And you go straight up. You don't want to go underneath it because there's predators sitting on the bottom. So you shoot up. Once they shoot up and they come over that light, you can see them and then you can also dip net them. The cool thing about this particular light is it has a dimmer like that. It also comes with a 110 adapter, so you can unplug the 12 volt adapter and hook up this. So if you had a dock or something. One thing Kelly and I have been doing a lot lately is renting Airbnbs. Not hotel rooms, Airbnbs, and some of them have docks. We can literally plug this into the wall, hook this up, plug it in, throw it in off the dock. Then immediately we have bait fish coming and predators catch sea trout, snook, redfish. If you saw my video back a little while ago in Sebastian Inlet, we had lights and that's what all those redfish came to. They were there to eat shrimp. That's why we use these. I'm gonna do a full-fledged real shrimping video soon when we're on a bigger boat with my dad, my kids, 
it'll just be a blast. But right now I'm going to plug this into a battery and show you what it looks like in my pool. Now the light won't go to the bottom, the light floats, that's why you need that weight. Whoa! Look at that! Oh my goodness! You can have it obviously from dim all the way to bright. That's insane. Now like I said before, you can take the 110 adapter, unplug it right here, plug that in, plug it into the wall, and you can let it run for weeks on end. If you're down in the Keys Lobster Inn, wherever you may be that there's a dock, and even freshwater. I know crappie will come to that light like crazy because the light's actually attracting the bait fish. So you need a big net, a boat. You could even do it in a canoe. I would bring one battery, two lights, a good anchor, a good net, and a five-gallon bucket because in Florida you're allowed one five-gallon bucket per boat. You can check out Fish Rules app to see more of that. What do you say we make some dessert? Take some strawberries. I bought these from the store. If you know where you can get some that you can hand pick, plant your own. A couple blueberries. Big old scoop of Cool Whip like so. That's like the perfect scoop of Cool Whip. Mm, look at that. <laughs> but can y'all smell that? Those strawberries smell so good. Handmade by yours truly from scratch. <laughs> mm. That's money, dude. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. I know this video is a little bit out of order. You guys that watch me and have been watching me for a long time, you already know I never do anything in order. But until next time, it's time to get up out of here and get the heck out of shape. I got to take my son turkey hunting for youth turkey season this weekend and I gotta go pack and get ready. See y'all.